Hi, I'm Jacob Beals and this is my show. With the live action adaptation of The Lion King releasing this week, it's got me thinking a lot of one of my favorite Disney songs, Akuna Matata. Ever since I was a kid, I've jammed to this song. Now don't get me wrong, Circle of Life and I Just Can't Wait to Be King are bops too, but this song has always had a special place in my heart. Plus this song just has an amazing message. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Not just some of your days, not most of them, the rest of them. This song also introduced me to my favorite Disney duo of all time. Ever since I saw them on the screen as a kid, I was like, I love those two. And that's Timon and Pumbaa. And these two, I think, are really interesting characters. I mean, I don't want to like write a whole essay on why I think they're amazing, but I probably could have in college. I wrote an essay on Stranger Things one time, so I think I could have done one on Timon and Pumbaa. But for real, they're really opposite characters. They have completely different personalities, yet they're best friends and their chemistry works really well together. And as a kid, and even today when I watch The Lion King, their introduction, when they first see Simba like laying and he's passed out, you know, in the desert or it's like really deep in the African savanna, like that scene is one of my favorite parts of the movie, which is saying a lot because The Lion King has a lot of really epic scenes. But yet these two characters, they steal the show and they're just supposed to be like comic relief. And I wonder if Disney knew they had something so special when they first came up with them. After that, of course, they sing a famous song, and it, it really flows really well. They kind of just sing it all of a sudden, but you just kind of go with it. I have to admit, though, Simba kind of catches on to them a little quicker than I would have. Like, you know, they're singing to him, and I think if I were Simba in that situation, I would have been totally weirded out. But he's just like, okay, and then he grows up with them. And one other thing I have to point out, when they were eating those bugs, you have to admit, at least maybe I was just a weird kid, but I thought... Those bugs that they were eating and they showed Simba look delicious. They look like candy. Like remember the grub they slurped up? Oh, that looks so good. And for the rest of the movie, Timon and Pumbaa, they're there, but they're not in the movie too much. You know, they're what comic relief should do. And they're like, I think they're like really seriously a perfect example of comic relief within a film. And I love the luau distraction scene. I wonder how they're going to do that in the live action version, if they'll have it all. But I am very curious. I'm also kind of curious on a side note, you know, that part in, uh, um, I just can't wait to be king when the animals are all stacked up on each other. How are they going to do that live action? Huh, Disney? Are you going to try to replicate that and make it look real? I hope so, because I really want to see that, actually. Timon and Pumbaa are so great, they even got their own spinoff show. It wasn't particularly a Lion King spinoff show. They could have done something really easily when they just followed Simba or, you know, maybe one of the hyenas or something. I don't know. But they chose to do a show about Timon and Pumbaa, and it's so good. It's one of the most underrated Disney cartoons, maybe cartoons in general of all time. Now, if you've never seen it, the show has a little bit of a different feel to it um, than The Lion King. It's more comedic because obviously it's just about Timon and Pumbaa, but the, the world they live in, it looks very different than the world that The Lion King is set in. And what I mean when I say that is like animals in the world of Timon and Pumbaa are like kind of they're more well established like they have cities and stuff which is kind of weird i don't know like you know lion king's really well as realistic as it can be you know the animals do act like animals but in the other one timon and pumbaa they're kind of like acting like humans and timon and pumbaa are always getting caught up in bad situations and stuff it was a little li bit like how tailspin had um you know pilots like blue was a pilot you know but it was based off the jungle book when blue was just like a normal bear it was very similar to that and disney took a really out there approach to it and i love that about it Timon and Pumbaa even star in my favorite direct-to-DVD Disney film, and that's Lion King One and a Half. I contend this movie is very underrated. It's very funny. It's silly. It follows Timon and Pumbaa, and it's like where they were during, um, like, the, the story of The Lion King. And it shows how they met, how they came together, how they eventually led. It shows their leading to Simba instead of see, you're, you seeing Simba's l leading to them like in The Lion King. And it's really interesting. And the whole thing's so charming. I was thinking this movie is kind of the Deadpool of Disney movies, actually. The Lion King one and a half is. And I say that not because it's like really violent and Timon and Pumbaa cuss. No, not at all. It's actually because they mess with the Lion King universe a lot and they break the fourth wall like Deadpool would. I love Timon and Pumbaa so much that me and one of my best friends, Caleb, we decided to cover Akuna Matata in our college choir class for our Pops concert. We had such a good time doing it, and we even added a little bit to the Kuna Matata like song. I, we added dance moves. We even did the Soldier Boy dance. I, I don't know why we just thought it'd be funny, and I think it worked. So hopefully, from now on, 
everyone who covers Akuna Matata will add in the Soldier Boy part that we did. It'll be like a thing now. And now we're going to get to see Timon and Pumbaa live action or CGI or however it is. We're going to get to see them in a different light in this new version of The Lion King. And I cannot wait. And Disney, if that luau scene isn't in the movie in this live action version, I'll never forgive you. Wouldn't it be crazy if, like, Disney made Timon and Pumbaa the villains in this live-action version? Like, what if they were, like, the killers of Mufasa, and they were behind the scenes pulling the strings the whole time? That, that would be nuts, like, to take over the Pride Land. Like, their plan was to have Simba kill Scar, and then they'd kill Simba, and then they'd be king and king. I, I don't know if that would work, but we'll see. Now, I doubt Disney will screw it up. I'm really excited to see this movie. I'm pumped. I will probably see it in like one of the first few days it comes out because I cannot wait. Lion King is one of my favorite Disney films and I'm so excited. I love Timon and Pumbaa and I know uh, this new, these new versions of Timon and Pumbaa, they're going to be great. I've seen them in the trailers and a few clips and they're, they're awesome. I love them. They look wonderful. Billy Eichner and Seth Rogen's, their voices look like they're going to match these characters perfectly, and I cannot wait. I'd be happier if Caleb and I were cast in the movie, but hey, I forgive you, Disney, and I'm so excited to go see this later this week. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching this video. I hope you liked it, and I hope you like the new Lion King. I hope you're having a great day, and until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!